Let's check in with Madaris Babb now in Selma. She's got reaction from the Cox campaign. Madaris. Well, I just talked with TJ Cox as he did leave to go home. It looks like it's not going to be called tonight, and it's been pretty calm here at his headquarters in Selma, and that's because he held a virtual election campaign party instead of the usual in person, and that's because of COVID-19 and taking that precautionary measure, which he really has done throughout this entire race. Instead of going door to door, he's really tried to tackle it by going and calling the voters. The race has been tight tonight as votes started to trickle in and throughout the hours that went on, something both cam candidates were familiar with because of the race in 2018. In fact, David Valadeo was prematurely called the winner in that race back two years ago, but Cox came back in the three weeks following election night and won by 862 votes. Tonight, when talking about the initial votes, Cox says things are just starting to heat up. Oh, yeah, it's absolutely far from over. You know, election night, as I've said before, is really only half time in this game. We've got days and weeks after to make sure that every vote is counted, every ballot is tallied, and every voice is heard. That days and the weeks that he was referring to was back two years ago. David Valadeo was up on election night by 5,000 votes, but those uncounted ballots kept coming in, and at the end, Cox won by a slim margin, only less than 1% of the votes. Back to you.